everybody. Welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, that website address for you is TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. It's the best place, in my opinion, and of course it's going to be my opinion, on the internet for clinical trials content and information, and that's whether you are someone who works in the industry or someone who wants to work in, in the industry or maybe even someone who's thinking about joining a clinical trial. So I try to get content for you guys too. Um, today I'm answering a question. I love the email, so keep them coming. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. It's regarding auditors and audits and quality assurance. So this person's looking to get into, perhaps get into a career in a clinical trial, specifically in quality assurance, QA. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what that entails. So in clinical trials, as you know, the data is recorded from the actual study visit onto what's called the source document. And then this data is transferred to case report form, or CRF. And the CRF can be either paper-based or electronic-based. And more and more of them are becoming, thankfully, electronic-based. Uh, so we don't have those big notebooks just everywhere in the clinic. It, everything's done more and more online, and that's a good thing. But anyways, someone who does QA kind of serves as an internal auditor. So let me back up. Uh, anything, all clinical trials are regulated in the United States by the FDA and in other countries by their regulatory agencies. So the FDA holds research clinics and, and sponsors, drug companies who sponsor the clinical trials, to uh, certain standards. And the good clinical practice is a big part of it. So they make sure that the data is uh, entered according to good clinical practice and that the entire clinical trial is actually conducted according to good clinical practice. And besides the whole safety part of clinical trials and ensuring that study participants' rights and well-being is respected. That's more of the IRB's duty, Institutional Review Board. And I have tons of videos on there about, on here about institutional review boards. Uh, the FDA and other auditors or other regulatory agencies really audit to make sure that the clinical trial is conducted according to the regulations set forth in those particular countries. And all of them worldwide adhere to good clinical practice. So an auditor's job is to make sure that that is being done. And what a QA, quality assurance person, what this job entails, because this is the question that I got. Quality assurance kind of serves as an internal auditor. So let's say you work at a research clinic and your job is QA, quality assurance. So your job as the internal auditor is to make sure that your company is conducting research according to good clinical practice. So your role is kind of like the FDA within your company. So you're going to be looking at everything from the regulatory documents to the source documents to the case report forms and you're going to see how everything's entered, if the protocols were followed, um, if all good clinical practice was followed, especially the informed consent and the consenting process and how the data was collected and how the protocol was followed, things like that. So this is what a quality assurance person does. Now to, to become a QA person, it does require some previous clinical research experience. So from, for the person asking me this question uh, of what is a QA uh, role and what is its function, um, hopefully this answers your question. Now, like I said, someone in this position probably needs some re prior research experience because there's not really any way that you can be an auditor, an internal auditor, without knowing very much about clinical trials or having very much research experience. So QA people internally at research clinics or at CROs are usually individuals who were previously either study coordinators or clinical research associates, monitors as you call them, if it's at a CRO or even at a pharmaceutical company. Usually these individuals were previously study coordinators or 
uh, monitors. Uh, some some type of role where good clinical practice had to have been conducted. So you don't just become a quality assurance um, person without having prior experience because you need some working knowledge of what is expected of the clinical research either the site or the CRO if it's a CRO or a sponsor but all three of these type of companies have quality assurance individuals working within them at least they should uh, even research clinics they have QA people uh, usually these are again former coordinators or very experienced coordinators who now take on the task of doing nothing but QA and internally auditing their company's files and their company's protocols to make sure that everything is being conducted according to good clinical practice and that all the FDA requirements and regulations are being adhered to. Hopefully this helps. Um, so if you're a coordinator or if you're someone who's looking to become a quality assurance person, uh, you should apply as a study coordinator first or something similar to that so you can get some good experience, some good clinical research experience under your belt before you can become a quality assurance person. And of course, attention to detail in this role is it's absolutely required. I uh, hope this helps answer your question. Ask me follow-up questions if you have any. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com And right now I want to give my Clinical Trial Guru producers a, sh a shout-out. That's Sarah Elizabeth Siegler. Resolve Research Solutions, Accurate Clinical Trials, Erdhart Clinical Trials, PTNR, Patrick Stone. We have Darshan Kulkarni, Biofarm Systems, Sunwire, Mozio, South Coast Clinical Trials, and Breakthrough Clinical Trials. And I'm still accept accepting some spots, so let me know if you're interested. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. And also, shameless plug here, be on the lookout for my... Introduction to Clinical Research DVD. I have the trailer up there, and I probably have the ability to purchase it already. Uh, this is February 9th today, so I think that should be up. If it's not already up there, it should be up in a few days. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Thank you.